Can democracy truly flourish where allegations of election fraud cast long shadows over the victor's legitimacy? In Zimbabwe, a saga of disputed elections continues to stir controversy and challenge the very essence of democratic governance. In late August 2023, Zimbabwe's election results declared President Emerson Menangagwa the winner with 52.6% of the votes. However, the main opposition leader, Nelson Chamisa, cried foul, alleging blatant and gigantic fraud. This was not a solitary voice of dissent. International observers also echoed concerns about voter intimidation and the electoral process not meeting international standards. Chamisa, leading the opposition party CCC, refused to accept the legitimacy of Minangagwa's victory, marking the beginning of a protracted battle for electoral justice. The opposition's grievances were not just about the numbers, but centered on the transparency and fairness of the entire electoral process. Menangagwa, on the other hand, maintained that the elections were transparent, even thanking international observers who criticized the process. As weeks turned into months, Shamisa sought the intervention of the Southern African Development Community SADC, a regional body known for its electoral observation missions. By October 2023, Chamisa had penned a letter to SADC, seeking its help after hitting a deadlock in negotiations with Manangagwa. His plea underscored a desperate need for regional oversight amid escalating tensions. The response from SADC, however, was tepid. In April 2024, SADC acknowledged Chamisa's concerns, but only promised to forward the case to relevant structures for consideration. This bureaucratic maze did little to quell the unrest among Zimbabweans who had pinned their hopes on a regional resolution. Chamisa, persisting in his quest for justice, followed up with another letter to SADC, urging them to not only condemn the flawed electoral process, but to actively facilitate a resolution. He argued for the necessity of a legitimate government, emerging not from questionable electoral practices, but through transparent and credible elections. His stance was clear. The integrity of regional institutions depended on their response to such critical issues. As it stands, the electoral dispute in Zimbabwe remains a poignant reminder of the challenges facing democratic processes in the region. The SADC's role is pivotal, yet its actions, or lack thereof, will determine the course of Zimbabwe's political future and the credibility of regional governance. In summary, the election dispute in Zimbabwe underscores a critical junction for democracy in the region. With allegations of electoral fraud, the legitimacy of leadership hangs in balance and the eyes of the world, especially those of human rights advocates, remain fixed on SADC's next move. Will it rise to the occasion or will it allow the shadows of doubt to linger over Zimbabwe's democratic landscape? Only time will tell.